What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about free graphics templates and free text and title templates. These are amazing tools, so let's get started. Now, if you head down here in the timeline, I wanna create a new title sequence at the opening before this shot with cool graphics and or text and title. So now let's head up here to the top to all the pre-saved layouts. So right now we're in the editing layout. You can tell by the fact that it's highlighted blue. Let's go to the right, let's pass color effects audio and let's click on graphics. So it's gonna change the layout a little bit and you'll notice it's gonna add a, an essential graphics tab here to the right. So before we get started, I do recommend that you learn how to build these and create these yourself from scratch. It's gonna sharpen your skills as an editor and also you're not gonna have something that other people might possibly have the same version of. That being said, if you're just getting started and want a cool title or a cool intro to your videos, this is a fantastic place to start. So let's kind of break down all the different things that are inside this graphics tab. So if you head down, we'll start from the top. There's a browse and edit button. There's also a my templates and Adobe stock button. Underneath that, there's a search bar. And to the right, you're gonna see a star for all the favorites. And you're gonna come down here and you're gonna see a bunch of different items listed in here. And these are all just cool graphics templates. These, some of these are just text templates. There's a bunch of different things you can use. Head down here to the bottom. There's a little slide bar. If you wanna see them larger, you can blow them up. If you wanna see them smaller, go down to the left. You'll see kind of a list view. I like to have it a little bit bigger. I'm actually gonna go a little bit larger so we can see it. So this way we can preview what the different ones do. So let's come over here and if you highlight your mouse over the item and slowly go left to right, you can see what this will do. So this is obviously just a title sequence. It has a couple changes of fun colors just to give it more pizzazz. Let's head down here. If you have a cool logo, you want to enter your brand logo and have a glitch effect with different things, you can do that. If you want to add something that's a little more complex, if you want to add video or photos into it, maybe a preview of what's coming in your video. If you have cool shots later in the video, you can do a little teaser here in your intro, giving them kind of a heads up of what's to come. And you can come down, like I said, where there's just text with a little bit of cool uh, blur effect. There's just tons of different options. So I'm gonna scroll here to the top. So let's head back up here where it says my template. So you can see it's blue, so that means it's highlighted. These are all the templates that I have in my computer. And I'm gonna shrink these down just for a second again to where it was before. And you can see if you scroll down, there's a lot of different things in here. Now, if you kind of feel like the stuff you have on your, in your computer, you want something new and exciting, come over here where it says Adobe Stock. This is Adobe Stock. That There's also free options and there's premium options. And you can sort those by literally just clicking free here. It'll sort them out to all the ones that are free, or if you want the premiums included, or just the premiums. I'm gonna uncheck that so they're all together. And you'll notice some of them have little dollar signs here to the left, that little blue dollar sign. And also if you go down to the bottom, you're gonna see a little shopping cart. These are all things you have to purchase. I'm gonna sort them just for free because who doesn't love free? And there's a lot of great options in here, especially if you're starting out. And you notice some of these, these were included in my templates because I've downloaded them before. So I'm gonna go back to the templates that I already have. And you also notice that some of them have a blue star here to the right. This one's clear. If I click it, it means it adds it to my favorite. So you can have your three, four, five, six favorite ones you always use and always go to. And so you don't have to sort through them. You can come up here to the top on the right and just click the blue star. And it's gonna show the ones that you've kind of sorted out and claimed as your favorite unclick that. And also the most recent ones will always come to the top that you've used. So in theory, you'll have all the most recent ones here. So in general, they'll be kind of sorted at the top either way. But let's start with a very basic one and then we'll move to a complex one. So I'm gonna use this basic one first. So it just has a title come in, a few little color swipes, nice and easy. And then next I wanna work with something that's more complex, which is this one. You can add video and different elements in here. So let's do something basic. Let's take this basic title. Just literally grab, drag and drop, It'll process over here. And because this is a much simpler template, you can see that the, my bar is yellow, so I can play live right now. So I'll just play it. Simple, in and out. So let's just say we wanna customize this. Now we have this, we've decided this is the one we want to start off our video, but obviously you don't want insert title here and you might not want the color pink or the baby blue. So let's customize it. So instead of browsing, which we've kind of done to look through to see what our options are, I'm gonna click on the edit button. And nothing's happened because I realized I did not have this clicked and highlighted. So come back to the template itself, click highlight. You're gonna see the white bar go around it, which means it's active. And then now in the edit, we're gonna have different options here. These are all the different things that were built in order to make this template. So we have the mask, we have the title, and we have the two colors. If you wanna edit any section in here, obviously just pay attention to where the gray is highlighted. So this is for the title. So if we double click here, you can see the title inside is now typable. So I'm gonna change this to my YouTube channel's name. So let's just type in, Future Mars Army. Okay, so now I have my channel name there. You can click off and now you can work on the different colors if you want. Also, if you wanna customize that more, we'll double click this to make sure that it's active. 
and you can come down and you can play with anything. Say we decide we want to change the font, the text type. We'll do that and say you want to change it. You want to change the size a little bit. You can play with the size here if you want. If you want to change the spacing or if you want to make it italic, you can make it italic or you want to make it bold. You can manipulate the type any way you want and say we decide I don't want the letters to be white. I want to make the fill. Let's just say let's make it green. Click OK and then say you want a stroke, which is the border. We'll click that and we'll make that white. Come over, we'll bring this up a little bit. So it's nice thick in text. So you can change this and manipulate this any way like you would normal text. So say we decide that's what we want. Let's come down here, let's go to the next option, the color. So this is the pink that comes in and slides. Let's say I don't want the color pink. Double click this. Let's just say we wanna make this kind of a darker army green. So we'll click there. So now when it slides in, it has the baby blue and now the green, but say the baby blue, let's change the blue. So let's go down the next color over here. Double click that. You can see the blue color here, change the appearance. Let's just make it for like a dark, let's just make it a different shade of green. Yeah, we'll just darken up like that. Click okay. So now if I play it, So it still has the structure of the template that I downloaded, but I was able to customize it the way I want. And this is a very basic way to do it. And you can see the motion here. You can also see how it's built over here in the edit control. You can see all the keyframes from the movement and all the different layers of different items added. This is what I said it's good. If you really want to sharpen your skills, it's good to learn how to build these yourself because then you have endless possibilities. It's not a template that someone else made and you're kind of modifying that. So that's a very basic simple. Now let's work on the other one. So I'm going to grab this and delete it. Come back up here to the graphics panel, click on browse, and let's do this travel one. So I'm gonna drag this over. So you can see now it's red. So the one before was very simple. Bar was yellow, it was saying it could still play, it's still playable. Now when it's red, this needs to be rendered. Let me just render this out real quick so then you can see how it looks and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let me back it up. Let me just play it through. So it's kind of a slow intro. It has the Tyler come in and then you can see those little shapes behind it. So these little shapes here, those are just references to things you can add video or media or your logo. You can add anything in there. So let's customize this. Let's head back over here to the graphics panel and let's click on edit. Same thing. I need to highlight the clip I want to edit. And you're going to see a little bit different structure because this is a more complex template. So think of this whole template as all these different items boxed into one box, one package and you can edit different things. So the global, this is just the shape and the size of this package. So if we go left to right, you can obviously move it, but it moves the entire thing. I'm gonna undo that. Say you want it to be shrunk down, you can shrink it down a little bit. So then all this is just inside this structure. I'm gonna undo that because I want it to be full frame. So I don't mess with the global controls usually when I play with these, undo that. Now text control obviously is a different thing. So when we scroll through, we see the main text come right here and we also see the small text come here. That represents the main title here and then the bottom title here and then the main title shadow is the, the red underneath. So I'm gonna work on the main title. I'm gonna undo that. You're gonna see main title text, same thing here. You're gonna change it. I'll change it to my future Mars army. It'll change there. Same thing, I can come down and I can change the different type of text I want. The color, let's change the color. Let's just, for variety's sake, we'll click yellow. Same thing, you can do, you can mess with the letter spacing here. However you like that, we'll leave it there. So that's just the main title. Say I've decided that's good for me. The shadow, the shadow, just same thing. You can play with the color. We'll just make it pink for sake. The shadow opacity, if you want to be a little bit more see-through, less bold. Shadow distance, if you want to make it further from the letters themselves. Or also the shadow softness has more of a blurred out feature. We'll undo that. Let's change the bottom title. Same thing, you just double click in here. We'll just type in travel vlog number one. So same thing, you can change the different type if you wanna use a different font. You can change whatever you want, but you can see how it instantly changed travel vlog. And I say I want the color to be different. Let's make it like a bright red. So now that's changed there. Same thing, you can play with the spacing of the lettering. Say you want it to be a little bit closer or a little bit wider. And so now we have the text done. So we'll roll down that. Now we want to change these different things with the video. And depending on the template that you're using, there's different things like these little white text things or this little image right here. We'll go to elements and let's just say the corner sizes. So you can make these corners smaller if you want or say you want them larger. So whatever the feature is inside this specific template, you can customize it. So let's make these 
I don't know. Let's make these blue, purple. So you have a different look. We'll close that and we'll go down to background control. So the amount of noise, you can tell there's a little bit of noise here. Let's just crank it up. Let's make it look really grainy. And then this little feature here is this matte box around it. You can see it's much more round. It's changing that. And like I said, every template's gonna be different. They're gonna have different elements and different items inside it. So these are not all gonna be the same. This is just what's included in this one. So say we decide that's a good kind of rusty look. We'll come down to media placement. So this is where you see these little images here, the different shapes, the triangle, the circle, and the square. You're gonna see that a lot in the templates. That just means you can replace it with your logo, your media, your video, whatever it may be. So I'm gonna place this with the video that I have down here to show what's coming up in this so I'm gonna come down to my project panel. So I'm gonna click on this video, which is the same video of my timeline. I'm gonna drag and just drop it. So there we go. So now we have this video here. And there's a couple different options. You can scale to fit. You can scale to fill, stretch if you wanna stretch it out. But I'm gonna say scale to fit. And you can play with the dimensions down here if you want. But I think that's good the way it is. And then I'll come down to the overlay controls. So now there's this different kind of color to it. But let's do something more obvious. Let's just say purple. If I click OK. It's gonna give a tint to this outside box because that's how it's built up. So once again, it's as customizable as you want it to be. So let's just make this a little bit lighter. Okay, so let's see, we'll close all these down. You can unroll all of these and see all the different elements that was built for this template and customize it the way you want with what's given. Come down here and you can see everything's red again. So I'm gonna have to re-render this because I've made all the adjustments. If it's red and you start adjusting different things, you have to re-render it every time. So let me just start that render now. So now it's done rendering. I'm gonna bring it back to the beginning. I'm gonna play it. So obviously this is extreme. I would, this visually doesn't look good. It's way too grainy, the colors are weird. But I made things extreme just so you can see how you can customize it. But say you wanna make changes. Come back here to the background and the noise I'm gonna lower way down. And also I feel like this is too long. So I'm gonna grab the end and I'm gonna pull it down. And it's not cutting off the end, it beads it up a little bit. So it's still gonna have the entrance and the exit. It's just gonna do it in a smaller amount of time. So I'm gonna re-render this again. Okay, so let's play it now it's done rendering. So like I said, you can customize it any way you want and put your spin on the structure that they've built. So I'll just bring this down to the main track and I'll butt my video next to it. And you can also add a transition in between these two because this is just a self-contained package. And you can play around with all these. I highly suggest going through here and trying different ones. Uh, once again, on these more complex templates with the visual and the graphics and the video and all that stuff, it will take a lot of computer power. So if you have an older computer, be patient. Any little adjustment, you'll have to re-render and that sort of thing. But if you don't know how to build these on your own, and just the fact that they're pre-made and pre-built is a tremendous advantage, especially when you're starting out. Anyway, I hope this helped. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.